world. So, I'm super happy. I'm just going to say today is a happy day because I went on a little plant swap with someone in my Philly house plants group. I just told the internet where I live. Anyway, um, it was really cool because I like totally, oh, I shouldn't say her name on the internet because she probably doesn't want the world to know. But anyway, I met the lady <laughs> to uh, exchange plants and it was kind of cool because I had like all these spider plant babies and she had the Dikembakia and I was just like, oh my god, I've been seeing these and I want one and it's like such a basic plant that I just don't have. So she's had hers for ages and it just grows like crazy. So she was like completely happy to just give it to me. But me being me, I'm just like, well, I don't want to just come get something. I want to give you something too. So I so showed her some of the stuff that I had and she was totally happy to trade for Spider Plant Baby, which is great. Can we talk about how hot my room is because I turned the air conditioner off because I don't want you guys to have to hear the AC going. Um, so anyway, I met up with her and we traded plants, which was super cool. So I'm going to show you the newest addition to my plant family. It, my plants don't have names, they're just the plants. But still, I will show you. Oh, and Dikembakia is the name for, I guess it's called the dumb cane. I think it's called a dumb cane, like regularly, colloquially, commonly, common name, dumb plant. Are you ready? Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it the most amazing thing you've ever seen? No. Well, I think it's awesome. I'm super happy. Look at it. It's so, look at these leaves. Let me get my face out of the camera so that it focuses on the plant. Any minute now. There we go. Look at that. I think that's amazing it is so cool and she gave me a nice big piece which is cool because like now I'm like you know super happy because it's just gonna keep growing and growing and it's got some pretty good roots on it here look at these roots roots bloody roots every time I say roots I feel like I'm like back in high school again um, but yeah anyway I am super duper thrilled about this plant. Am I even in focus? Oh, I am in focus. Oh, I'm shining. We need a de-shine break. And cut. <clears throat> so I don't even care about the fact that like half my head's cut off. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so yeah, this plant makes me so happy. I can't even take it. Like, it's so healthy and I feel good because like I gave her a little four inch pot that had one, two, three, had four little spider babies in it. So it was like one big spider baby, one medium spider baby and two small ones. And they were all rooted before I put them in the dirt. So I felt good about that. They were growing on their own for a little bit. So I just feel like, yay, it was my first plant swap and I feel super happy and I just think that's great like I never did that before so it's kind of cool and it's like both of us being like women in the city we're like oh so where do you want to meet and so we met up at like the Petco and um, <laughs> like in a little shopping center because you know it's broad daylight but you never know and it was so cool because we both have like our masks on and we're both like six feet away from each other it's like plants in a time of corona you know so anyway i just think that's cool like i'm definitely looking forward to like meeting more people and talking about plants and it was hot as balls outside oops am i supposed to say that Oh wait, let me uh, use the YouTube algorithms SEO blah 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 because when you say certain words in your video, it makes them like show up in search results. 
So I should talk about houseplant hobby and how to grow a Dikembakia. And the dumb cane plant is super awesome. Indoor houseplants that require bright indirect sunlight. Although she said that she, uh, yeah, I'm ridiculous. But she said that she um, kept this right next to the window and it was completely happy. So I'm going to do the same thing that she did because that's what it's used to. Um, I don't want to like put it through any kind of shock. And she had already been rooting it in water. So I just have it in one of my mason jars, as you have already seen. Um, I have it in one of my mason jars and I'm just going to keep it in one of my bright windows. And hopefully it can be like as huge as a lot of these other ones that I see in a few years. I'm just like... I don't know why I think it's like even cooler because like I think my favorite plants are the ones that I haven't bought for myself like they're the ones that I got from other people and I don't know it's kind of cool because it makes me think about these people that I've met and people like you know at work and friends and family like I think my favorite plant is still that um, Dracaena that I got from my grandma that's like just now got maybe one root with two inches and another root that's half an inch that's like ridiculous and it's been inside water for like i don't know easily a few months when did i post it to instagram i don't know like right before the rona got real is when i posted it on instagram so that was a while ago like we're almost holy crap july is almost over like, at the time of recording this, it is July 20, not 22nd, it's July 21st. And I can't believe it, but, like, July is almost over. We've been doing the Rona for, like, five months now in PA. And this is just nuts. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Meet up for people. Trade plants. Be super happy. But make sure you wear your mask stay you know six feet apart make sure you wash your hands and use hand sanitizer because this is not going away just out of nowhere you know what i mean it's not going to be like oh well i'm bored gonna go you know infect another planet now nope the rona is ours and shout out to the random stranger on the internet who's like completely happy to meet my completely weird stranger behind in public in like the middle of a pandemic to trade plants. I don't know. I just think that's pretty awesome. So I will post some facts about the uh, Dyfembachia and some pictures that I will, you know, happily repurpose from the internet because I respect copyright laws and I'll make sure that I take pictures that are okay to be shared. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying this, but you know, respect. Respect photographers, okay? Anyway, posting facts about this plant now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, slam your body down, and zig a zig.